uh, hi in this video we are going to see how to concat two different object in order to do that i'll just uh, quickly show that how do we do it uh, from the database playground so i just open dw lang dot fun website where we are going to concat two different objects assume this is the first object so the first object has a message and which is saying hello hello world for example i'm going to add one more object where i'm going to declare and i'm going to create a object called employee object there i'm going to specify the object value okay so for example i have a name for the employee and i'll say colon tech lightning and comma and then i'll say id colon 1001 as a employee id okay so this is the one object okay so this particular object which is having two different uh, key value pair so name and id is a keys and uh, value for the name is tech lightning and value for id equal to 1001 so now this is one object and this is another object so this is nothing but our payload for example if i wanted to concat this payload with this particular object so how do we do it i'll just go here and i'll just only give payload here and then you just give plus plus and then employee object so i'll just give that one and see what is the output it's coming for us see the right side the message which is your uh, first field and other two fields are appended here similarly right you can uh, concat n number of objects for example i wanted to add some more value okay so this is my employee address object and uh, this is my so variable so you have to give equal to and then i'll say uh, address right so i'll say uh, there is a field called address colon and i'll say um, 11 oven road and i'll say singapore okay so this is my address and uh, this address uh, some test address i gave so this test address also i wanted to concatenate so i'll just plus plus and i'll add this employee address object see here that is also added so likewise you can add n number of object through this plus plus symbol and there is one more way to add as well so how do we add it i'll just uh, remove this one and you just add a empty curly brace okay so this is normally object right so this is your object so normally object will have curly brace started and ended so here what i'm going to do so this is our payload whatever we see in the left side it's a payload which you have to give it in a parenthesis okay then you add a comma and this is your object right that object you just i'll just copy the name my variable employee object and i'll say that one in a parenthesis see here similarly how we added plus plus simple for concatenating right the same thing it's working here as well okay so this way you can add n number of object together using this method so mainly you have to put a curly braces and then you have to give whatever object you wanted to add right that you have to give it in a parenthesis okay so this is the way we call it as an object destructor in order to concat multiple objects okay so now we have added it so now other things we will see so how to add a string right and i'll just uh, remove this data which is not required anymore i'll just remove this one payload also let it have so i'll just go and uh, create my string one okay so or i'll just say uh, this is my first name and i'll say test is my first name where last name and i'll say uh, test demo okay so this is my first name and last name and uh, this comma will not come here so because we are just declaring a variable and here i wanted to concatenate my first name and last name so i'll just give first name plus plus and then last name one if you give one plus that's summing two different numbers okay so if you give plus plus then it's uh, concat see here it's coming as test demo so if you wanted to add a space then that also you can do it in between if you wanted to add a space you add a space and then you add a plus plus symbol here so that you will be able to see one space is appearing here so this way you can add multiple string value together for example you wanted to do a more than one concat for example here just we did a two variables we just concatenated right similarly if you wanted to concat more fields also can we can do that 
so for example i'll just add something called middle name and then i'll say demo2 okay so here i'm going to add a middle name and i'll just copy this variable name and i'll just put it here and then if you wanted to add a space in between so you can add that as well and then you just give the concat symbol see here the first name middle name and the last name it's concatenated concatenated together so that you'll be able to see the the final result is appearing here so here just i concatenated and uh, printed the multiple string value so if you want if you have a requirement to concat multiple values you can do this way okay similarly what other way you can do is for example i'll just remove this one here just we substituted variable and we use something called plus plus so now what i'm going to do i just i have removed it so you just put a dollar symbol and then you just give the variable name here okay then you add a space we are not going to add a plus plus symbol here instead we are going to add a dollar and then parenthesis and you just put the value and if you look at this one right for example what i'm trying to do is i'm just trying to concat two different value so here yeah so you have to give something uh, for the syntax right you have to give this double quote so that it can act as a string see here so this way you can print dollar and then you can put a variable so that you know you can get the value like a uh, concatenated value or if you wanted to go with the easy one then uh, you can simply give uh, your variable and you can give plus plus and then you can give whatever the variable you want to concatenate so this way you can concatenate two different string or multiple string so initially what we have seen so we how to concat two different object with plus plus simple then what we have done with the parenthesis we have tried to concatenate using a destructor third uh, we have seen how to concatenate multiple string value together in order to achieve some kind of concatenation in the string using a data wave thank you